Many of us watched the inauguration from home this year due to COVID-19, but that didn't stop HBCUs here in Ohio from celebrating the new vice president, Kamala Harris, with their chucks and their pearls. All of us that are breaking out our chucks today, we're nodding to Vice President Harris to say, you know, we're with you, we're walking with you, we're scanning with you, and we're, and we're ready. Executive Vice President, Chief Innovation Officer at Wilberforce University, Tasha Bradley, says the swearing in of VP Kamala Harris is monumental for everyone at the historically black college. HBCU started as a response to what white supremacy was doing, not allowing black folks in this country in particular to be educated, to have access to reading, to access to writing, to access to learning. She says there's also a heightened sense of pride in knowing the new VP is a product of generations of grueling work to advance the black community. Vice President Harris, uh, graduating from Howard University, the Mecca, is not only important because it reminds us of the resistance it remind, reminds us of the work. It reminds us of the people who come to these institutions and become even better and even greater and go out into the world to do really fabulous things. And despite the history of marginalization of women and people of color in the U.S., Bradley says when people look at the vice president or think of HBCUs, she hopes they walk away with this message. HBCUs reproduce. And we don't just produce, we produce vice presidents. Lauren Mixon, 2 News, working for you.